Hello, my Virgos. Welcome back. Welcome, welcome. Okay, so today I'm going to do a little love quickie. Just take a peek into who's coming towards you or if they're not physically coming towards you, um, who's thinking about you and what they want to say. See what we get. <laughs> now, like always, it's a general reading. Take what resonates. If you would like to book a personal reading with me, link to my website is in the description box below. And remember, guys, I read how I read. You know, it's, it is, it's just, that's what it is. Okay. <laughs> Mm. All right, so I'm feeling like there is a sense of calmness going on, but I am hearing something like someone's slow to fully commit to something, to fully get involved. It's almost like I hear it like they're sleeping on the connection or sleeping on this a little bit. And I, I'm not sensing chaos yet, but someone may be getting mixed intuitive messages that's causing a delay in a connection. I do see love here, but there's some something delaying this. December could be a significant month also for some of you. All right, uh, who's coming towards Virgo in love, please? Or who's thinking about Virgo? Show me who's coming towards Virgo in love, please. They could be resisting actually coming towards you. <laughs> who's coming towards Virgo in love, please? This person might be a little bit OCD because I'm feeling very finicky with my hands and very particular. So I'm getting like a slight OCD tendency for someone here. Um, who's coming for the Virgo, please, in love? Eight of Cups, Temperance. Could be someone that you walked away from or and then the Two of Cups. So this is definitely, it could be a water sign or fire sign. I have Sagittarius here as well. I'm hearing a message that will change everything or change a scenario. I don't, okay, so I feel like whoever this person is that's coming towards you, if you don't know who they are, they recently, you either could have walked away from them in the past or they have walked away from someone. They could have walked away from several options. I'm hearing this individual could have a lot of suitors, but I don't think they're interested in any of these people that they're dealing with. Um, I also feel as if this person is trying to figure themselves out. They're trying to balance their life, their emotions. They could be a little bit eccentric as well. There's something about kissing that I'm getting here. I, if you've, <laughs> if you've kissed this individual before, they are they, they like the way that you kiss them, or you like. There's something about liking the kissing here. So yeah, I, I'm guessing you already know this person. I'm getting the masculine energy, whoever this applies to, is kind of takes the kiss. You know, he when when he kisses the feminine, he really kisses her. Again, whatever energy you take, masculine or feminine, this can go, you know, 
But somebody really just, and the other person loves this. Oh, I'm just kidding. But it's kind of got a melancholy energy. It's like something didn't work out here. Either between you guys or for this um, person. But they're healing from it. However, they definitely, they either would love to kiss you or they, when they do in the future, that's how they'll kiss you or, you know, the masculine will. Whatever this kind of, it's a little bit confusing, but okay. When they speak to you, they may also speak about very like, practical things it's like they feel a lot deeper than what they say like they they'll say uh you know um do you do you know where this is or something that's so there's not a lot to build off of it that's the way they communicate so even if even if you <laughs> Even if they were interested in you, you might not know because their social skills, I feel like, aren't very developed. So when they say stuff, it's very practical conversation. How was your day? Um, that's good. Are you going to do this? I mean, there's not a whole lot. Um, it's almost like this person you couldn't talk with for hours right off the get-go because it's like, I want to say that they're a little bit quiet. There's a lot of depth here, but they're <laughs> I'm get maybe they're a little bit awkward. I don't know. I'm getting stuck in this person here. It's almost like they don't know how they're very to the point in their conversations. They could be very business focused or something like that. This is the masculine energy I'm getting. So the feminine, I don't know. This may be a little strange for you. Like, does he like me? It's like I'm I'm picking up like Spock to be honest. That's like a Spock-like person, someone very, you know, okay, you know, which, I'm, it's cute though, it's kind of cute, I, <laughs> a little awkwardness. Okay, um, show me what else, how will Virgo recognize this individual in love? <laughs> I mean, <laughs> I feel like after that, you, that was weird, okay. How will you reckon? This person is different, though, I will say. Um, how will Virgo recognize this person? They could be an air sign, Gemini, a Libra, or an Aquarius. Also, they're very... Whatever they implement, they do it successfully. It's like they're smart. They know how to execute. They know how to get things done and do it well. They could also um, be some sort of speaker. They're, they're very, <laughs> despite their disconnect, their awkwardness, it's almost like in regards to what they do, Someday they, if they not, they aren't already. They'll be known to do it. The, I mean, they nobody does it better. Nobody executes it like this person. They're pretty blunt though. Pretty blunt. Again, there's something with social cues, but this somehow works out in whatever they're doing. Like the public loves this awkwardness in regards to work, but in their personal life, they're a little bit kind of. I don't know. They've just been through it, I think. And they're, but they are soulmate. Aren't you excited? This individual, <laughs> whatever they're doing. I think they're cute. They're, I don't know how to exp Okay. Anyway. <laughs> and what does this person want to say to you? Oh boy. <laughs> All right. What does this person want to say to you? They're going to say whatever. <laughs> I think when they talk, things don't always come out right or how they mean. But I don't think they care to. This They're very candid, this individual. Loner. Definitely more of a loner type of person. All right. What do they want to say to Virgo, please? What does this person want to say to Virgo in love? They do not know how to approach you, really. They don't really know how to move this forward. What do they want to say to Virgo? Oop. Oh, Virgo. 
Virgo, Three of Swords. You might have hurt their feelings. Maybe you chose someone else over them or, um, I don't know, but I'm getting that like, they have hurt feelings here. They are healing from it. What else do they want to say? They could be a water sign, Six of Pentacles, and King of Cups here. They, the first thing I heard was somebody could be talking to, giving attention to a water sign if this is you or um, them. I'm getting like somebody giving attention to a water sign. But I am also feeling like they would like to restore balance in this, but they feel like you're giving attention. To, that's what I'm getting. It's like they they feel deeply for you, but it's like you picked someone else or you're doing something else. Yeah, like you chose a different pathway or something like that. All right, and then so before I close it off, let's just see what does Virgo want to say to this quirky person they're dealing with. Whoops. <laughs> My hand. All right. What does Virgo want to say to this person? I'm getting like wanting to be done with the burden, wanting to put an end to a cycle that lasted too long, the world and the death card. Um, three of swords. So I think you were hurt by this too. I also feel like you sense them. The high priestess, you could be dealing with a Pisces. Doesn't have to be, of course. I feel like you're also saying something like you're being you're being intuitively guided to end something. You might break someone's heart here if it's not this person. It's like I'm almost getting like you're saying you're being intuitively guided to end something and someone may get hurt in this process. All right. Okay then. That's what I have for you, Virgo. Bye-bye.